sometimes you don't get the simple jobs. Now this may seem like an easy job, easy to trust cabling and everything, but here's the challenge. I am out of town and I don't have my tools. And there's a lot of missing elements here. The backup battery is missing and there's no labeling and no one put anywhere on the panel that this is A configuration cabling instead of B. Not a big deal unless you're troubleshooting the other end of the cable, which we needed to do. So here's what I could do without tools. I got the very basic tools that I needed to do this job and were able to reuse the customer's voice and data modules with bracket from Leviton. These are six port Cat 5 e modules. And we went ahead and ran a new machined Cat 6 cables from those Cat 5 e modules down to a new hardened switch. Now we have to take into account this Cat 6 cable that's run on the outside by the ISP. Don't tell me why they did that. I just don't understand. But here's the whole box so you can see how we put power in there. We also put a Wi-Fi antenna from Ubiquiti and there's the hardened switch. It has to be hardened because this is a garage, it's in hot Texas, and this could get really hot. So now we want to go ahead and add some airflow. We're going to take the cover of this telecom box and drill some holes these are not my tools, by the way. I mentioned that I didn't have them. These are the customer's tools. Thank God he had at least that much. Whatever he didn't have, we had to run a Home Depot and buy those. Here is the cover with the fans mounted. Very cool little setup that I'm doing here so that the customer can have airflow for that switch. And we also added some spacers to that cover so that not only will he have the airflow from the fans, but the spacers will allow that cat six cable to come in from the outside. It is pretty cool. Here is a good shot of what the NID from the ISP looks like. And then as we go right to the back there, look at the screw with the spacer there. Kind of ingenious. Again, not having all my tools and equipment and visiting family. This is the best I could do with what I could buy at Home Depot and keeping it economic for the customer so check this out nice little airflow he has a hardened switch he can now connect all his devices to a central location we are plugged into his nid it's covered so it's not unsightly and he has airflow from the fans a win-win situation if you ask me now his battery backup was missing a battery we went ahead and installed that as well to get this job completely done the right way